technology development in Indonesia. At this time, we live in the era of globalization or it can also be called the era of modernization. Modernization itself in social science refers to a form of transformation from a less developed or less developed state to a better direction with the hope that people's lives will be better. Modernization covers many fields, for example in the fields of science and technology. In this modern era, humans are very dependent on technology. This makes technology a basic need of everyone. From parents to young people, experts to ordinary people also use technology in various aspects of their lives. Farmers working in the fields also use technology to increase their yields, for example using a tractor machine which is faster and more efficient than a plow pulled by a buffalo. The human need for technology is also supported by the rapid development of science and technology. Technological developments have developed drastically and continue to evolve until now and are increasingly worldwide. This can be proven by the many innovations and inventions that are simple to very complex. In fact, less than the last 10 years, cell phone technology which was originally just a wireless communication tool has developed into a communication tool that can take photos, record videos, listen to music, and access the internet in seconds. The development of technology today is the basis for developing the life of the nation and state. The progress of a country is based on how far science and technology are controlled by that country. This is very reasonable because science and technology are the basis of every aspect of human life. The Indonesian nation is a nation that lives in a global environment, so inevitably it must also be involved in the advancement of mastery of technology and science, especially for the benefit of the nation itself. As a developing country, Indonesia is considered not too advanced in the mastery and development of science and technology. According to former minister and head of the National Development Planning Agency, Armida Ulisyabana, technological progress in Indonesia is still low. There are several indicators that prove the low level of technology in Indonesia, such as the lack of contribution of science and technology in the industrial sector, still weak policy synergy, and the small number of scientists in Indonesia. Based on data from the United Nations for Development Program UNDP, in 2013, Indonesia's Technology Achievement Index was ranked 60th out of 72 countries. The size is based on the creation of technology as seen from the acquisition of patents and royalties on technological works and inventions, the diffusion of the latest technological innovations as measured by the number of internet users and the amount of technology export contribution to export goods, the diffusion of old technology innovations as seen from the number of telephone users and users. Electricity, the education level of the population based on the average length of schooling of the population aged 15 years and over, and the cash participation rate of the population pursuing higher education in the field of science and technology. The low level of technological progress in Indonesia can be seen in Indonesia, as can be seen from the lack of government budget for research. Although in 2010 the Indonesian government allocated 1.9 trillion rupiah, approximately $205 million, for research and development of science and technology, it turns out that this fund is only 0.85 of gross domestic product GDP, per year. When compared with research funds in China which amounted to 2%, Japan amounted to 3.4%, and South Korea 4.04% of GDP, it can be concluded that Indonesia is quite far behind. In addition, the contribution of science and technology to the production sector in Indonesia is also still low. This can be seen from the lack of efficiency, low productivity, and the lack of technology content in exported goods. Exports of manufactured products are dominated by products with low technology as much as 60%. Based on some of the facts that have been mentioned, it can be concluded that the development of science and technology in Indonesia is still very low and can even be said to be lagging behind when compared to other countries. We should continue to improve the development of science and technology to advance our country.